course, our meteorologist Josh Cozart was out and about to watch that uh, partial eclipse this morning. Yeah, he was. He continues our team coverage tonight from the Portland waterfront. Portland's partial solar eclipse has come and passed, but not without giving us some spectacular views. Monday's sights were stunning, but the Pacific Northwest was not in the path of totality, a path causing a total eclipse of the heartland stretching from Texas to Maine, where the entire sun was blocked by the moon. Portland was nearly 2,000 miles away from the ballpoint size pin shadow that raced across the country, but parts of the sun were covered by the moon in our area. This is very similar to our last eclipse, seen on October 14th of 2023. But if you missed this year's eclipse, the Pacific Northwest falls under the path of totality once again in 2044 and 2045. And of course, I'll be having my great, great, great <laughs> right grandkids there in 2044. <laughs> we'll have the eclipse party, you know, and I'll say, kids, I remember back in 2017 <laughs> when I saw it. Josh, did you yeah. have any trouble taking pictures of the eclipse? You know, kind of like what some of the kids said earlier in the eclipse, that's when it was a little bit on the clearer side. But then after the peak at about 1120, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the clouds started rolling. And so 